Nuclear missiles were under attack. Oh no, God no. This is a dream from one of my viewers. We used one of his dreams before. His name is Rocket Man. Okay. Now, here we go. <clears throat> the dream. I'm going to tell it as if I am Rocket Man. I was driving east on what seemed to me could have been the I-20 or the 110, somewhere in the western states, possibly coming out of the high plateaus of Texas. I drove across country in a big rig <clears throat> Excuse me, when I was young, so some areas looked familiar to me. I could see a vast amount of land from horizon to horizon spreading across in front and on all sides. The sky was a deep hue of blue overhead and very beautiful and clear. My window was down and I had my arm resting on the ledge, enjoying the warm rushing air. Inside I had an uneasy feeling that seemed out of place considering how beautiful the day was. I suddenly noticed contrails in several places over the vast sky, arching downward. My first thought was, whoa, maybe a meteor shower. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I quickly realized they were moving too slow to be meteors. My hair stood up on the back of my neck and my heart began to pound. Those are not meteors. They are MIRVs, multiple independent targetable reentry vehicles. In our terms, nuclear missiles with several warheads, several independent warheads. I was very distressed. I could barely start the car. My legs were shaking so badly knowing what my eyes were seeing, but in complete shock, knowing what was about to happen. A few other cars had also stopped, and we were all watching the canopy of white trails left behind as the warheads were streaming towards their targets. I focused on one that looked closest to the ground. All I could think was, oh, no, oh, no, God, no. Then a tremendous bright flash. I turned to look at other areas and the same thing, flashes of light bursting in all of these places. I dropped behind my car for a minute or two, wondering about who just got hit and how many had vanished. I looked over the car and saw columns of smoke and the typical fireballs moving skyward. These explosions were over the whole horizon, so we were not hit by any blast wave, thank God, but I could hear the cracks and the rumblings of the explosions. I began to think of my family still a few hours east of me. I was frantic to get home Many people were running around holding their heads and running with no clear state of mind, just aimlessly running across the desert in panic mode. Cars were abandoned all over the highway. I was running into obstacle after obstacle trying to get home. It became dark and chaotic. Chaos was all over, everywhere. I got to an area where the road was impassable and had to get out of my car. I realized just how far I had still to get to go home. And the madness that I had to get through to get there? Crazy. I began to cry for my family, knowing that I was not able to provide any security or comfort to them. I woke up yelling, no! That's the dream from Rocket Man. It's a little scary, isn't it? 
That is something I hope never happens, you guys. But see, we've been safe here in America for so long that we've kind of gotten a little complacent, a little at ease. This is Pat speaking now. This is not Rocket Man. This is me. This is really a matter of prayer. What we need to do, you guys, we need to ask God to warn us. He didn't have any warning in that dream. We need to ask God to warn us. I'm serious. We need to ask God to warn our families and somehow time it so that we can be together moving away from the areas of danger. There's, there have got to be some place, some safe havens somewhere around this country and in the cities. And we need to ask God where those places are and how to get to them. And we need to start moving before the rockets start flying. Okay? So let's pray, you guys, that if this can be canceled, God would cancel it. But if he has set it in stone, he would at least enable us to get to safety beforehand. Amen? God bless you guys.